You know, you can record me all you want. You can record my coworkers all you want. They're potential predators. They could be pedophiles. They could be something. Long story short, I may be losing my job next week. I have found their, like I said, I found their YouTube channel. <clears throat> I've reported them for harassment. And my, and my other YouTube channel, I reported them for child endangerment. I have the right to refuse to be recorded. I'm doing that at this point. You need to shut your cameras off. All right, you guys, just when you think it's the holiday season and Santa Claus has let you down, Chadio, somebody sent me his link to his version of his public, ultimate public freakout, ultimate public meltdown on YouTube. I just have, I just have to publish this. Here we go. I'm going to put the original link in the description. I am speechless. The video is called The Dark Side of YouTube or something like that. What's up, guys? I hope you're all well. Chatio here. The audio is so low. I had to adjust, adjust in posts. This is ridiculous, dude. Learn how to learn how to do a video. Today, I'm going to talk about the dark side of YouTube. You mean the one where you flipped out and broke a water bottle and screamed profanity in front of kids? That that part, that dark side of YouTube. These kids around here, he's saying effing uh, and acting like sense. this. Because you're recording around children, and that's totally hey, against hey. everything on my belief. Oh, you know what? Oh. Get the f out of here with their Whoa. Go! Whoa. The YouTube side that we all, in our community, steer clear of. We really? That's funny, because I've got 152,000 subscribers. Freeman's got well over 300. So does Lackluster and uh, Amagasted Press. Audit the audits got over a million. Uh, say that again. We do not acknowledge them. We avoid them at all costs. They're really? very horrible people. They're wow, no judgment there. They're extremists. They're extremists. They're just potsters. Check out his hat. And uh, when well, I was at work yesterday, it was about three thirty. I was excited to get his hat. Says Chadio. C H A D E O. That's right. Narcissism knows no bounds. And I want to thank Johnny F Face for I sent this to Johnny F Face. He I didn't even notice that. So Johnny F Face is a genius. Hats off to Johnny F Face. <laughs> oh, this is this is get off of work. Yes, hour and a half I'm off work. 90 minutes, let's go. Get to enjoy five days off. Get to enjoy time with family. So you get five days off for Thanksgiving? Friends and relax. And I looked up from my monitor and I saw this guy walking around the department with a camera. Legal. Totally legal. And I was like, well, sh I guess these are the guys we were warned about a couple of years ago. And what did they tell you in your training, Chad, that you should probably not engage? Isn't that the general rule that you should not engage and that you're going to wind up on YouTube? Well, here we are. Here's your 15 minutes, Chad. Make it good. And then they started recording children. No. Actually, they didn't record children, maybe inadvertently. And here's the thing. You don't know what they're going to do with that footage. I know you're going to say, oh, I don't know what they... They could easily, if they inadvertently did photograph any kids, they could uh, edit them out and hit the cutting room floor. They could blur the faces on the kids. You don't know what the end result is, Chad, but you're omniscient, right? And you know everything. And that's why you're unemployed. And I waved them over. I said, hey, come here. And they came up to me like, hey, what's your name? Blah, 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 asking me a bunch of questions. I'm like, I'll get to that later. You, know, you can record me all you want. You can record my coworkers all you want. Do not record the public. Specifically, do not record children. I'm going to refer you to the Supreme Court case from 1967 called Cats v. U.S., which established in no uncertain terms that there's no expectation of privacy in public. And that goes for minor children. And as Denver Metro audits repeatedly mentioned he said what if i'm out filming my nephew's little league game like nobody cares nobody cares listen if you're going and putting cameras in faces of kids which did not happen here yes you can get your ass beat by a parent okay those are those are the consequences that is not what was taking place here let's go respect their privacy and you're like well we can record you mean the privacy that the kids don't have that privacy okay just just i want to clarify that whoever we want we're in a public place there is no privacy here and I said, hmm, cool. My thought was, so I'm going to follow you and John and record, recording you taking a piss. 
there's no privacy here. It's a public bathroom. I didn't say that. I thought. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that Chad is one of the dumbest persons that I've heard this week that's not a police officer. So a public bathroom, so you can go in and so there's cameras mounted in a public bathroom, so you can just walk in and film in a public bathroom because it's public. It, you are the dumbest unemployed person that I've heard this week, but there's always next, there's always next week. Got it. I probably should have. That would have been funny. But... um. I said, I'm asking you again, please do not record children and the child's. Also, Chad, do you have any inkling to photograph somebody in a public bathroom? Is that, I mean, I don't know what your parent was over the table, not too far from me. And they said, I would respect that you do not record my child. And they looked at her and said, oh, no, we're going to continue recording your child. As a matter of fact, as when we're done with this, we're going to go record your child again. Are you kidding me? I said, do not record children. Do not, you know, do not violate a child's privacy. Okay, Chad, once again, I'm going to refer to you to the Supreme Court case and other case law that's on the books about reasonable expectation of privacy in public. I don't want to, I don't want to bog you down with a heavy reading list, though. But everybody else, please chime in with your case law, other than Cats v. U.S., of no expectation of privacy. There's a few. Do not record children. You can record me all you want. I said, I'm a content creator. I know YouTube's policies. And right now, you are kind of breaking their harassment policy. You guys. <laughs> I am the content creator, and you're kind of breaking the harassment policies. God, this just, this is gold. This is, this is my chat. You have given me my Christmas gift. I thank you. So surrounding me right now. And you guys are harassing me in my workplace. Well, this is a public place. We're not harassing you. This isn't harassment. Wait, didn't you say that you called them over, Chad? Wasn't, didn't, didn't you uh, initiate this engagement? This is within the law. And I said, it's not within YouTube policy. Oh, my God. So can they go to YouTube jail? If they go to the Bay Area, will they be put into... Uh, how do you even know that they were filming for YouTube? You know that there's other social media out there other than YouTube, Chad? If you continue doing this, I will find your YouTube channel and I will have it shut down. Really? That's interesting because uh, Denver Metro Audit uh, is still up and so are the other guys that were out there filming. So uh, great job. Great job with your troll army with a thousand subs. Now, I'm not going to name their YouTube channel. I will. Denver Metro Audit. The thank you to uh, one of my viewers, one of my friends. They actually knew who they were and told and I want to thank one of my viewers and one of my friends who knew who you were. See how that worked? Told me their YouTube channel name. And I spread their name out to a bunch of my friends who have children and say, these guys are recording children. They're potential predators. Watch it, Chad. We're going into the realms of slander. Watch what you say. They could be pedophiles. They could be something. I don't know if they're just recording to put up on YouTube. I'm just going to say this. People that often are pedophiles put themselves in positions to be around kids all the time. They have careers as teachers, Boy Scout leaders, gym coach, and that way they can be around kids all the time. Or if they get kicks on recording children and putting them in a horrible place. So they kept antagonizing me, going after me. I said, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to have to ask you to just, you know, leave me alone. You're going to ask or you're going to scream with profanity? You can go downstairs, record all you want down there. To your heart's content. There are no children down there. There's no children down on the main floor. So the kids have to teleport from the ground level to the second level. There are no kids on the first floor. You are so silly. Go down there and record. Do not record up here. Do not harass these children. And the guy's just blah, 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 blah. I forget. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go get security. This right now, I'm being harassed. I'm going to go get security. And I walked Tell us what happened, Chad. Walked away. And as I walked by one of the guys with the camera, he said something along the lines of, oh, this pussy with the blue line mask. Oh, he's, he's really representing the, the police very well right now. He's being very unprofessional. Yeah, you were. And that is a, uh, that is a rogue 
flag, and I'm not even going to say what it represents because we all know what it represents. This guy's unprofessional, blah, blah, blah. So I want the security. I said, dude, you got to get these guys out of the children's department. They're recording children. They have to go. Fortunately, security looked at me and walked away. Because security knows the law, and they know more than you, Chad. Chadio. What the hell? So I went back. Uh, I think Chad, Chadio's abandonment issues are kicking in right about this point. There, they followed me. I sat back down on the desk and I said, I'm going to ask you again. Stop recording children, or I'm going to call the police and report you as a pedophile that would be do you guys see the logic fail here chad watch your mouth how many people think that chad's crossed the line into slander here comment below let me know what you think as a, a child predator so walking around with a camera obviously i mean everybody knows that just means you're a child predator a uh, great great logic fail there great job chadio like you can't do that we're not doing anything wrong i said they weren't doing anything wrong. I said, you know what? I don't know if you're a predator or not. You're recording. We don't know if you're a predator or not, Chadio. Recording children, you need to f stop. You work around children. You might need to stop. Oh, actually, you did stop because you got fired. And this guy's like, oh, my God. You're getting mad at us for recording children, but you're using the F word around children. I said, you and I just went off. And I was like, go f yourself. I'm going to find your YouTube channel. I'm going to get you shut the f down. I'm also going to call the police and have you taken out of here for harassing the public. How'd that work out for you, Chadia? As Johnny F. Bay said very eloquently in, in his pinned comment, thank God that the Aurora, Colorado Police Department didn't come so they wouldn't have to give Chadio a shot of Special K and kill him. Like they did to Elijah McLean. Because that's what Aurora Police Department does, among other things. Well, there's a public place. We're not harassing you. I'm like, you are harassing me right now. Not, and I why aren't they in jail for harassment right now, Chadia? Actual question. Why are they not in jail? You've got the footage. I just unleashed on him. I don't remember what I said. Yeah. So you can take your camera and go downstairs with it. Or we could get security to handle this. Okay, yeah, if you want to get security. Look at all these kids around here. He's saying F and <laughs> and acting like this. Because you're recording around children and that's totally it, against it, everything on my belief. Oh, you know what? Oh. Get the uh, I do. Here, let's show you. And then you broke your water bottle. Get out of here with their Whoa. Go! Whoa. Chad. Chad, calm down. Wow. I don't believe in filming children. We weren't filming kids. <laughs> we weren't filming kids. Look, he's, he's acting up. Fully. I know I didn't threaten him. I didn't do anything. I just unleashed a tyrant of profanity. A tyrant of profanity? Not to be confused with tirade. Loud enough that everyone in the, in the library could hear me. And subsequently got myself fired. <laughs> Hoping that security would come and kind of back me up. No, your supervisor came and, and disciplined you and told you to uh, STFU and to, uh, that you're gone. No security came. Security did come. That's when you threw the chair. So it's like security didn't do their job at that point. Yeah, they did. They followed the law. You know, and policy. They're, they're here to try to protect us in the community. But when they saw people, people with a camera, they absolutely threw that out the window because, oh, they have the right to record. That was their thought. You have the right to protect the community, your, your coworkers, children. Every I think Shadio is going to run for either police chief or mayor next. I'm not really sure what his next move is, but... Uh... Uh, I'm at the edge of my seat. Everybody. And it just was a huge failure. I snapped one off. Finally, someone came over. Tried, you know, security did eventually come over. Say, you need to calm down. Chad, calm down. I'm like, shit, you said my name. Oh, in public. And that's how we found you. And that's how I found you, Chadio. So these guys have my first name. Come on, you said my first name, oh, and I was pissed off. Well, if you didn't throw a tyrant, then they wouldn't have had to call you by your first name. So I went back into the genealogy department. Isn't that over at uh, uh, the LDS Church in Salt Lake City? Yeah, you know that department, the one thumbs up for host, and I've done some food reviews and stuff in there. So I went back there, and the head of security came, came to me and said, dude, you need to calm down. You have to calm down. You have to calm down. I said, they're fine recording kids. I said, he's like, they're not doing anything wrong. I said, they're recording children. They're potential predators. They're a potential threat. 
I'm here. I'm trying to protect the kids. He's like, oh, isn't that sweet? He's like, well, one of the parents did call the police because she wants to file harassment charges, but we stopped her because we said she can't do that. She can do whatever she wants. You can't file harassment charges for in a public place. Are you kidding me? Sure you can. Are you kidding me? My city's policy is fucked. It's all f***ed. No, you're These guys are yeah. fucked. These guys are the scumballs, the scumbags, the worst pieces of shit you would ever meet. These are horrible people. They're far, politically, they're far one direction. What direction would that be? The far right? That's interesting because most people on my channel know that I'm a Bernie bro. So that doesn't include me. I don't know. You, Chad, you should, you should actually know what you're talking about. You know... Yeah, security at one point said you need to put a mask on. They said, well, it's not a law. We're not going to wear a mask. You can't do anything about that. Well, we could ask you to leave. Well, then we'll, we'll, we'll blast you on, on media or whatnot. That's what I've heard from security. Like, and they're like, you know, fine. It's, it's not worth the fight. So, yeah. These so, you can obviously hear. I mean, I'm editing out the volume of profanity that Chadio is presenting with us. But you can under, already understand. Uh, he's got a potty mouth and probably shouldn't be around kids. I mean, let's think of the children. Your 70 cents will put one of these otherwise doomed boys or girls into a clean and bright CCF daycare center. These guys were shoving cameras in children's faces. Shoving cameras in children's faces. Why didn't you record that? Because I didn't see any. And I'm sure you're going to say, well, they just didn't publish that portion. Well, why didn't you, Captain save a -Hope? Recording kids. That's why I lost my. They can record me all they want. And I even told that. that. I said, cool. I'm also a YouTuber. I'm also a content creator on YouTube. I'm also monetized. But what I don't do is I do not record or film or stream children. Unless I have. <laughs> unless. Comma. Full authorization. So yet. You yeah, what does full authorization look like, Chad? You can show my child. You can talk to my child. Blah, blah, blah. I don't do that. You guys know I don't do that. You probably have seen some of my vlogs. I can be walking in the public and my camera goes up like, you know, my camera goes up like that and then back down again. It's because I see a child coming towards being in frame and I'm trying to protect their privacy, their God identity. God bless you, Chad. Trying to protect them from creep balls like I met yesterday. It's ridiculous. So long story short, I may be losing my job next week because of the way I handled it. May? You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. Even though morally and in my mind, I did the right thing to try to protect children from a potential threat, potential predators. Watch out. We're getting near the slander. I'm probably up for termination for the way I handled it. I went off on them. They're, I deemed them as a threat. I have found that how come nobody else in the in the library deemed them such a threat? How come nobody else damaged property? Granted, it was his own property, but still, somebody had to go clean up your 64-ounce water bottle spill. Like I said, I found their YouTube channel. <clears throat> I've reported them for harassment. And my, and my other YouTube channel, I reported them for child endangerment. Your other YouTube channel? Somebody please send that to me. So if you guys know the channel I'm talking about, please go to it. Don't watch their content. Just report them to YouTube. I mean, I'm at the point right now. I think I'm going to actually just call YouTube, call Google, call whoever I can. Really? Could, could you let me know what phone number that you got through on? Because I'd love to chat with them about my channel and some things that I want to tweak. Can. And, and give them, you know. A, a report about what they did and what they were doing and saying they were they're waiting for your call right now chad i just called them violating youtube policy you need to take this channel down unfortunately they could probably create another channel and unfortunately over that there are thousands of channels like this that are doing this and what they're doing i believe is maybe not breaking the law that's why they're not in jail they're first amendmenters so they're doing whatever they can well within their First Amendment rights. So, there you go. Chadio says it himself. Everything that happened there was legal. It was a moral question for Chadio. Even obscure, stupid stuff. Yeah, because the First Amendment, Bill of Rights, it's all obscure, stupid stuff. Filming children, apparently you're allowed to do that in the United States. Yeah, this is America. You should move to North Korea. Yeah, and a couple of times I asked them to stop recording me. And they said, no, we don't have to stop doing that. I said, actually, as in the United States, uh, 
You just said that it's okay for them to record your chatio. Are you having a mini? Are you okay right now? Do you need medical attention? You're contradicting yourself within a 12 minute video. Uh, citizen, I have the right to refuse to be recorded. I'm doing that at this point. This guy is dumber than you a need to shut your cameras off. And they said, nope, it's within our rights to record you right yep, now. That's why they're not in jail right so, now. Horrible situation. No, it wasn't horrible. You made it horrible. You, your perception is that it was horrible because you think you're trying to save the planet. Get down off the cross. We need the wood, okay? That's going to be over my head for the next five days. Because no, you're going to find out way sooner than that. You did find out way sooner than five days. Because I don't know if I'm going to go into work on Tuesday and be leaving immediately without a job. I don't even think Chad went into work on Tuesday. so I don't know. But all I know is watch out for this. That's right, because no child has ever appeared on YouTube ever. So if you see any child that's ever on YouTube, I need you to go and report that channel for child endangerment. Everyone I've talked to who have children, all my friends with children, they said they would have they would have reacted the same way I did. They would have gone off on these guys about filming children. It's disgusting. It's disgraceful. It's I don't know. Chad's got a video. Chad's Chad's entire channel is his doing reviews of junk food, cigars. You think that's you think that's good? Beer reviews. You think that's good for kids? You think kids this is a kid friendly content? It's sickening. It's horrible. It's sickening. These guys are disgraceful. They're well known across the Denver metro area. No, they're well known internationally. Get your facts straight. Because they go into, they've gone into other libraries and done the same thing. They've even gone to the Denver Police Department and harassed Denver police officers wearing badges. Oh my God. Police wear badges? This guy is. And then one of the cops had their supervisor come out. And then these guys are trying to say the cops were harassing them. I, that's the only one of their thing I watched. I said... I was watching it with my buddy who is a Denver sheriff. He's like, no, actually, these guys are harassing police officers. Then why aren't they in jail? Again, Chad, you should pick better friends that actually know the law. But your 72 IQ Denver sheriff thinks he knows the law. And that's why he's a Denver sheriff. And they're actually impeding a government employee from doing their job. So they easily could be arrested for that, too. He's like, I don't know how this channel is still up on YouTube. He's like, they're obviously breaking YouTube policies left and right. Aww. Right. But uh, had to get this off my chest. I know it's Thanksgiving. Hope you guys have a good Thanksgiving. We should all be thankful that Chadio made this video and tried to justify his behavior and morality. Where would we be without Chadio? I mean, think of the debauchery that would be afoot without the likes of Chadio in our society. Denver is a safer place there as a result of you, Chadio. I'll do my darndest to try to enjoy my day. It's going to be a tough one this year, but I'll let you guys know what happens. Hope next. you have a great Christmas, Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa on the unemployment line. Next week about my job. Hopefully I still have my job. Hopefully the worst thing that happens to me is they say, we just need to put you, you know, on administrative leave for a couple of weeks. No, that's what happens to police when they kill somebody. So you should try your hand at uh, the Denver Sheriff's Department or, uh, Denver Metro Police. Or something. Paid administrative leave. I don't think they'll pay me because I'm a temp employee. And so you want to get paid for your time off? No entitlement here. And I don't, they, you know, they don't have to pay me. But if they have a heart and they know how upset I am about this, hopefully that's what happens. They say, you know what? Take the next couple of weeks off. Just relax. Just, you know, you know, fill out your time card every day. You can just get paid for two weeks of work without going to work? I don't know. I mean, at most, I hope that's what happens. At minimum, I hope they just say, you know what? <sighs> you need to file a report about what happened. And um, you need to sign this piece of paper, you know, because this is a written warning. I don't know. Maybe at minimum, that's what happens. It's Hopefully, gold. Max, is what happens is gold. I'm on administrative leave. Potential Chad, you were disorderly that day, and you should have been arrested. I'm going to lose my job. I don't know. But with that being said, sorry for having a downer video, guys. I just had oh, to- Oh no, this is upper all the way, trust me. Get this out on my chest. I had to just got give you got all the warning of watch out for these scumbags who are all over the country that will go into public places.
and film do the horrible thing of recording in public. My God, the horror. I'll film you now without your wanting of, and they will film your children and continue filming your children even when you tell them to stop filming my child. They'll, they'll continue to do it. Let me guess. Chadio is single. Ladies. Um, yeah, the laws are really effed up when it comes to child protection. You know, government says, oh, we're here to protect your ch child. You're here to protect your child. No, Chadio, you're here to protect our child. Except for when you're like on our, our property and then it's free game. It's ridiculous. But I want to thank you all for watching. Stay safe and don't forget to wash your hands. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just like herpes, the gift that keeps on giving, comedy gold, the comedy stylings of Chadio. You'll be appearing at the Laugh Factory all next week to drink minimum. Tip your waitresses. Absolute gold. Link for this video isn't going to be in the description. I don't believe it's going to be around for much longer. I think Chadio is going to pull the plug on it. So great job. Thank you for watching Storytime with Chad. We hope you enjoyed your visit and we hope you come back for our next video, which will be appearing shortly. Thanks, you guys. See you in the next one.